So in terms of strategy, Fortescue's rapidly become one of the major iron ore producers of the world. We're now the fourth largest producer globally. Our operations are located up in the Pilbara, so our integrated mine, rail and port facilities are in the best iron ore province in the world, located close to the major steel producing countries of Asia. So Fortescue's just recently completed a major growth phase uh, as a company. We've spent approximately US $10 billion expanding our production by 100 million tonnes per annum. We've now successfully ramped up to 165 million tonnes per annum, which is in excess of our initial targets. And now the focus is really around maximising value uh, from those operations. It's one of the top four producers in the world. Our position on the global cost curve is absolutely uh, vital as a company. Uh, we've been very successful as we've ramped up the production, we've invested in new technology, new operations, and that's uh, successfully brought our cost down significantly over the last couple of years. Uh, in total, our costs have come down approximately 60% over the last two years, uh, and in terms of our guidance uh, for FY16, uh, our C1 cost at $18 per tonne, which will mean our delivered cost to China will be approximately $25 US dollars per tonne. Some of those initiatives are really are us maturing as a company. It's about operational efficiencies, it's about labour costs, uh, uh, investing in new technology for automated uh, fleet. Uh, so it's right across our operations we're really seeing those benefits flow through. Uh, in terms of outlook for the iron ore price, it would be a very brave man that would uh, provide a formal prediction. But what we do believe in is the continuing journey of China. You know, they have a long way to go in terms of uh, building out infrastructure. Uh, and then that will also expand across the broader Asian region. So we, we fundamentally believe in that continued journey of infrastructure build out, developing economies, and that all needs to be supported by iron ore. In terms of priorities for Fortescue, it's really about controlling the things we can control. So that's about safety, production and costs. Fortescue has been really unique in terms of the pace that it's built out its operations and a lot of the success has really been driven by the people uh, and the culture within the organisation. So that's something that we'll really look to build on. I think it's something that we can uh, continue to capitalise opportunities in and around our existing business, but I think there are also skills that we can take to other businesses across Australia and ultimately across the world.